my beautiful humans and welcome back to my channel. Are you ready for today's adventure? Because I don't think you are. So today I want to talk you for the biggest adventure that you're going to go on in your life. Or probably. And that is uni. So university is, you know, one of those things that a lot of people in Scotland do because it's free here. Today, I want to talk you through the bare essentials that you need to get you through uni, to get you started, get you organized, get you happy, you know, just, just the little things that you need. So that is today's video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you do enjoy the video, leave me a thumbs up. And without further ado, I will start on the things that you definitely need at uni. So, the number one thing that you need, and I'm not joking, because it will make your life so much easier, is, well, a laptop. So, a lot of unis have schemes to help you purchase things like this if you can't afford it yourself. Personally, I think this one was about £400. I bought it with my student loan. And this is honestly, you, you need this, right? You, that's, everything's gonna be on here. It is gonna save you so much time in lectures, typing everything out, and then coming home and you've got it there. All your slides are gonna be on there, especially in the world that we live in right now. This is essential because everything that you need is going to take place in this device. So definitely get yourself a laptop it will be your lifesaver. Like that is a number one essential thing. If you're gonna get anything, get a laptop because everything else I'm about to talk about, you can pretty much get in here. Well, you can use a laptop for. Of course, you're gonna need a laptop case, right? If you go anywhere, you're gonna need a laptop case. This is from Typo. They are probably my favorite stationery brand. So this is not sponsored. I wish it was because I love their stuff. This is one that I got recently and it's like this faux fall lever. It's got a pocket here for when you want to bring your phone, your charger, that kind of stuff. And then inside is really nice and luxurious. Like it is so nice. So that's a thing that you need for your laptop to be able to travel everywhere with it and make sure you don't break your very expensive piece of equipment. So that is Typo, definitely recommend them. They come as a pair. So, definitely get that. This is stylish as well, by the way. This is so soft. Definitely get these two things. I would recommend a really nice big notebook. So the way that uni has been happening for me so far is everything is online. So I set up the lectures online. I get to watch them there, which means that I get to pause my lectures. I get to rewind them. I get to take notes. There's captions. It has been absolutely beautiful. So I got this kind of project book, I think is what they're called. So it's got all these little dividers in here and it means that I can take all my notes in here very nicely segregated. And what I like to do is whatever the divider color is, is the kind of color scheme for that module and that's the kind of highlighters I get. So definitely get yourself a big project book that you can take all of your notes in. This will be your Bible when you're revising for exams. And then speaking of notebooks, get yourself a piece of stationery that you absolutely love and adore and something that's gonna get you excited to, to write your notes, something that will help you organize your notes and everything else. So this is kind of the jar that I use the most. This is actually a plant pot. Um, but I like the color, as you can tell, I like pink. So this is definitely something I got because it looks really nice on my desk and it just makes me excited to go and reach for any of these things. I prefer pastel highlighters just because I don't feel like they're as obnoxious on research articles. So I've got these, like I said, one color for every module and then I've got colored pens as well. Again, when you're going back onto your notes, I like it to look fun and I want to be engaged. If it's all black or all blue, I usually lose focus and I don't want to read through it anymore. But this way, I've got like a color for my headings and then I've got a color for 
like the main things from the slides and then because I get to watch all my lectures now I actually know what they're saying so I've got a separate pen for writing notes that they or things that they said so it kind of keeps it nice and segregated for me it means that I can look back more easily and see the kind of key issues and of course I always highlight things that I want to remember so there's that so stationery is honestly gonna get you the furthest in life there are studies that say that Longhand notes actually allow you to remember things better, so definitely recommend an actual pen and paper for studying. Then nothing beats it, okay? No amount of technology is gonna beat pen and paper studying. Plus, you get to get creative with it, like colours and everything else. You get to make doodles, little whatever you want to make, really. Another thing that I would 100% recommend alongside the laptop, like this is top two, I would say, is to get yourself a diary, um, get yourself organized in some sort of way, whether that is on your phone, on your laptop, or again, on paper. I love paper. I love writing things down. It makes it feel like an actual thing. And my mind likes to have certain things for certain topics. So it helps me out a lot that I have an actual diary and then this is my brain and my memory ever since. So again, this is from Typo. I love their stuff. This is like leather feel and the paper is really nice. It's like non-toxic. It is, actually I can tell you right now, it is acid-free ribbon page marker, inner pocket, hardcover, like so nice. And these usually retail for eight pounds, but Typo has some amazing sales on. So I got, these like these are bullet journals and they've also got diaries they've got so many things and on sale they could be like 150 which is so cheap so i usually grab a whole bunch of them so that's the reason that i use them the most uh, apart from the fact that i love them but yeah a diary is going to be your absolute lifesaver a diary diary and a calendar are the two things i would 100 percent recommend because you get to see your timeline, you get to see your schedule, what days things are due in advance and what days you're actually free to like slip in a little bit more of studying, a little bit of social time, whatever. Like this will honestly save your life. You can see that I have 100% been using these. I've got all of my things here, like meetings that I've got, um, meetings with my supervisor for my dissertation. You get to write notes in here for things that you might need to remember in the future, your whole month's overview. Honestly, if you get organized for uni, it is going to be a breeze. As long as you give yourself enough time to do things. I know there's so many memes and so many jokes about, oh, procrastinate until the last minute. My motivation is the deadline. Yeah, a lot of it will be that. Like your first year at uni will probably be just you wanting to socialize with people and get to know them but the sooner you get into a habit of getting yourself organized onto a timeline the, the easier your life will be and again if you don't want to use this then you can use an amazon alexa to help you with all of this and i did mean it by the way when i say i've got a lot of different journals i really do i like to have a different journal for different things so i have my Dissertation notebook, this is really nice, like a little wooden thing. I got this on holiday. It's nice and soft and I've got it on me because it is easy to take notes in this. It's no easy to carry and honestly, it's just so nice. Like this is what I needed. It is not aggressive. It just sits there reminding me that I need to do more research for my dissertation. So it's here. I've got this and this used to be my gardening one. So I've got lots of things in here. That's what a bullet journal is really good for is because you don't have those lines kind of constricting you. So that's kind of what I like it for. Again, you can actually bullet journal, but if you don't like constrictions of paper lines or whatever you want to call it, then bullet journals are really good for this. Um, but other than that, they also do these really, I cannot get over how nice these are. But you can also get these lined ones. I use this for the photography society. So, so I am the president of the photography society at my uni. So I wanted a really nice professional place to put all of my notes, all of my meetings, all of my ideas. 
and this has honestly been fantastic for that. I love this. I feel so prepared. And again, I've got spirits of all of these journals sitting around everywhere. And another thing that maybe you don't need so much right now. Again, I don't know how much travel to uni will be a thing right now or in the future, but you've got all this stuff. So you're going to need something to carry it in. Personally, I got this backpack two years ago, three years ago. I always bought like really cheap ba bad backpacks from like cheaper shops and try to be really affordable with it. But what would always happen is that these straps would go, like the, the seams between them would go first or this would pop off or the zip would break or there wasn't enough storage, whatever. But I finally got this. This is a Vans backpack and I've had it for years and it's got a separate compartment for your laptop that can go in there. So it's not like running all over the place in your bag. But this is definitely something you will need. Um, it's either this or like a handbag, but I find these a lot more comfortable. So again, personal preference, if you want to be fashionable and have a backpack, but have to carry everything on your biceps, that is one way to get your gains. Or if you want to be comfortable, just get a backpack. Everyone's in the same boat. And then lastly, there's something that I need to calm myself down at the end of the day and switch off. Like I said, I have a schedule and after eight, I don't do any more work unless it's like crucial, but I want to chillax. That is the uni essentials. I think these things will definitely set you up really well. They will allow you to kind of have a smoother entry into uni. Even if you're in like second, third or fourth year, whatever your stage of uni is, there's always time to improve on it. There's always time to add new gear and try out new things. Decide what you need the most of and yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day, like year, years at uni, whatever stage you're at. I hope you're really enjoying your degree as well. Uh, I've definitely got some work to do this year, fourth year psychology, trying to get that dissertation out of the way. And yeah, hopefully this video has helped in some way to know what you need for uni. And if it did, please leave me a massive thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you guys on my next adventure. And I will see you then, I suppose. Bye, human. Wait.